What's going on, Treasure Scavengers? We are back in Illinois picking up another storage unit after the chaos earlier in the week, uh, which we did have an outcome on that, but we are almost there. Yeah, about two minutes away. Two minutes away. So let's go see what we find today. So there has been a lot of questions and a lot of comments about we should have called the cops. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. The outcome from the shady business. What did happen? The next morning, um, I wasn't getting anywhere that night. I mean, we literally sat on the phone for about an hour trying to get a hold of somebody. I called them back the next morning and I got a hold of one of the managers that ran their auction house. This guy had a completely different tone. He was extremely nice. I no, he's gonna make it right. No problems. He told me that to make it right, he will in the future get some red dot places around us so we can have a pick of a few storage lockers in the future for, for free. free. But what it ended up being was miscommunication. They ended up sending me two invoices. and They were for two different units. Two different units. And, but the same picture was on each invoice. We had no idea. Somebody at the facility definitely messed that up. And so it was just a big miscommunication. So we didn't have to worry about cops or anything getting that involved. But I do appreciate people telling me that because, you know, this stuff does happen in the future. We got lucky this time. Mm -hmm. But if people are getting scammed and people are being shady, that's not cool with us. There is what happened. No cops involved. Nothing crazy. But it could have been. So we'll definitely be looking out for that in the future for sure. So why don't you guys stay tuned? Check out the video coming up here. Back to the show. And we are here. We made it. Back to Illinois. There she is right there in number 82. Hey, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? And there it is. Yeah. Boom. Oh, they're not leather. They're not leather, but that's okay. And I actually like the color better yeah. than what I thought it was in the picture. That's more of like a blood red. I love that. I thought it was oh, gonna be. Oh, really? Or no, it is a sectional. It's a sectional? Yeah. Ooh. That's cool. What's this right here, right out the gate, huh? What is that? Some facial stuff. Personal lubricant. It's lubricant. Ew. Ew. It's her sex bag. All right. Computer cord. And a computer. Sweet. Oh, an HP, HP laptop, Chrome. Nice, there we go, cha-ching. All right, and that's about the only good thing in this junk pile right here. About to go through everything just to make sure. I'll record for this. I'm hoping so. Nope. No, well, that's okay. Towels. Is it all towels? Yeah, yeah. looks like towels. Okay, towels are well, always... Looks like they're clean and pulled. Yeah, it looks yeah. like they're nice and clean. Wow, this is actually feeling pretty comfortable. Yeah. We're keeping this and then whatever else we find, that's what we'll sell. Oof, money. I got six cents. There you go. We're up to like $46 already. Nova's gonna like this one. Nova's gonna like this one? Really? Oh no. That's okay. I'm gonna look at the rest of these glasses here. We did just break one, but that's okay. That's just a wine glass. Yep, so this is a kitchen box. I'm looking for any cool mugs. Coffee mugs. These are not coffee mugs, though. They look like they're all wine glass. Oh, here's a coffee mug. Let's see what it looks like. I might be able to sell some wine glasses together. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Cute, and it's nice and clean. I'll probably keep that one because my son's learning how to dishwash and a lot of the Coffee mugs have been broke recently, but we'll finish going through that at home. Let's see what we got in the laundry basket. I see some blankets down there as well. I know Mike's going for that. Oh, wow. Look at Mike got a new jacket. That's Pally, pretty, Pally. that's pretty sweet. And I think I got a new sweatshirt. I love the colors on this. 3XL, we probably saw Now that, 
Like a woman's 2X, like top part It's like jacket. a short jacket. Yeah, but it's a 2X. Okay, what's the brand on there? We got Fashion Nova. <laughs> Ooh, look at, what is this? That's a fuzzy little vest there. All right, well, we got some clothes down here, so I'll finish going through them at home. Some skirts and stuff. It's gonna need a little bit of cleaning, but overall, I don't see any rips or tears or staining. If you wanna keep pulling, then I can grab the other side, if it will pull. Oh, you're trying to do both at one time. And even the underneath looks clean, underneath the cushions. Yep. Ah, look at that, even underneath, it's just got dirt from being in the frickin' storage unit. All right, we are all loaded up. Can't see the trailer, but we are all loaded up. And I think we're going to Burger King, right? Yeah. We are heading to Burger King. Get some food after all that hard work. No, that was the fastest unit ever. But it was a lot of fun. Can't wait to get my new couch in the house. Yee yee. We are getting some food. Oh, I want cheesy tot. That was it. Yeah. We were in and out super fast. The couch is in great condition, which is what we came for. Yeah, it's a nice sectional. So, we thought it was a love seat and an ottoman chair. That's what it was listed as, but it's a sectional. So it's going to be really cool. I'll have to take some pictures when we have it set up in our living yeah, room. Yeah, we get it vacuumed out and all that good stuff. Yeah. Most good. of the stuff should blow off down there. I think it's going to look good, but for a free unit, um, yeah, you know, awesome. it ended up being really well. You have an incoming call. I have an call. incoming call. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace in.